We've got a ton of moves to capture before our special guest arrives, so let's get through this as quickly as possible. We need footage of a top rope move. Come on, let's see what you got. crew get here. They're such a hassle to deal with. Oh, did I say that out loud? My bad. Oh, it's a pleasure working with you all. By the way, tell Buzz I said hi. Let's see a submission hold. Don't tap him out though. Just need a shot of the actual hold. Give me a pin attempt. It can be any kind. Just make sure the match doesn't end. We need to get more footage. One. All right, taunt your opponent. Now taunt the imaginary crowd. Give me an Irish whip in any direction. I don't care. Alright, pick up a weapon and use it. Sorry, Cole. Let me see your best heavy combo. Okay, might as well get some more combo footage. Give me a light one. Hey, Locke, I know you were a big-time WWE superstar, but act like you want to be here. Well, we're here. Might as well get footage of a grab attack. Go nuts. Let's keep things simpler. Just damage the heck out of Cole. Again, sorry, Cole. Pretend Cole is Shawn Michaels. Yeah, that's it. Really let him have it. Let's focus on getting some defensive footage. How about a dodge? Jason in gameplay keeps bugging me to get more reversal animations. So execute a reversal so Jason will leave me alone. Hit a signature move while you're at it. Friendly reminder to all town and crew, please only use three squares of toilet paper. We have sensitive plumbing here. Ooh, we 
we haven't had a session like this since the one for 2K20. Yikes. You know what? Just do whatever you want. Why am I even here? Give me a finisher and hurry it up. It's almost lunch. All right, let's wrap this up soon. I just got word that our VIP guest has arrived. One, two, it's over. Wait, what in the world is this? Is that my old buddy, The Lock? Doing mocap for WWE 2K? <laughs> it wasn't that long ago when you thought you should be on the cover of the game, and now you're here pretending to be a WWE superstar? Talk about a fall from grace. This is amazing. What the hell are you doing here? Maybe you can't afford to watch premium live events anymore, but I just won this money in the bank briefcase. So I requested that my briefcase motions be captured accurately by me and not left to the interpretation of uncoordinated losers like yourself. The same uncoordinated loser who beat you repeatedly? Funny. Oh, and look, I even have WWE here to document the whole thing. Remember when you used to have a camera following you around? <laughs> the irony is off the charts. Hey, hope you're doing okay. I always believed in you. That's enough. You're here to film me, not speak to the extras. Okay, you, you can leave now. I need to shoot my part so I can fly to the next show. You know, the life of a busy, successful WWE superstar. All non-essential talent, please clear the ring. Thank you. All right, let's settle into a T-pose. Mocap ready, position. Action on your briefcase victory scene. Great, excellent. Now up to the corner, please. You think you're better than me? Huh? Answer me! Cut! Cut! That's enough! Where's security? Come on! Let's do this! Let's go! I should have sued you before, but now I am definitely going to. Let me go! This was assault, and it's all on camera! Get off of me! You haven't seen the last of me! Actually, I think we have! You're fired! Again! Bye! Sorry, Sammy. Let's take a break, and we'll continue when you're ready. No, no break. Let's just do this. Make sure you cut all that out, OK? Should we wake him up? Yeah, I'll think he's got enough beauty rest. Oh, what the? Morning, sunshine. Oh, what's going on here? Since you never return any of my messages or calls, I had to come see you in person. You flew all the way over from the UK? I couldn't just sit back and watch you throw your life away. And since you're impossible to reach, I got in touch with this lovely lady. Am I allowed to say that? Hmm, I'll allow it. 
Anyway, she's been following you around for the past six months and knew what was really going on with you more than anyone. We agreed you weren't in a good place and needed help. This really isn't necessary. I'm fine. Seriously. I've just hit a bit of a rough patch. That's all. A rough patch is when you lose your keys, causing you to miss a blind date, and your cat gets sick. Of course, you find out the reason your cat's sick is because they swallowed your keys, but that's a personal experience, so we're getting off track. Point is, you've thrown away everything you worked so hard for. And then yesterday, you got fired from the mocap gig. Yeah, and I had my flight booked way before that. You've been a mess for a while. I didn't throw everything away. It was complicated. <sighs> but if it gets you two to stop, I'll admit, I've had better days. More like better months. So you got knocked down at Pega 5. All that matters now is how you respond. And when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, there's a whole world of wrestling out there for you to build yourself back up, be everything I know you can be, and show WWE what they're missing. <sighs> you're right. I've let things spiral out of control. I'm ready to get back on track. Great. And I'll be right there with you. Every step of the way. Really? Got nothing better to do. Okay. I'm confused, though. Why are you here, Kat? I told you I believed in you. And besides, I can't just start a project and leave it half finished, especially when it's going to have an awesome comeback story. And hey, even if you crash and burn, that'll be great too for me and the doc, not necessarily for you. All right. We're at an airport. Where to first? The loo. This coffee ran straight through me.
On my flight over here, I was thinking about how we met. You couldn't stand me. Said I should quit wrestling and go back to where I came from. Well, I wasn't very helpful, was it? I was actually thinking of what happened after that. You wrestled on some shows I was promoting, and you were impressive as hell. However, there was one thing you always churned down. The bartender at the pub? You were constantly trying to set me up with her, but she was like 75. No, no, not that. I mean, I always refused to do a British rules match. And by the way, Amelia passed away last year. God rest her soul. <sighs> Those matches are super restrictive. Way too many... No, is that... Okay, Shawn Michaels. Look, I see what you're getting at. But I don't think you can relate to what happened to me in WWE. Really? When I was in WCW, they asked me to wear a stupid robe and wig and be the stereotypical blue blood British guy, and I refused. You know who they asked next? Triple H. He turned out okay, didn't he? Sometimes you have to learn how to play within the system. And trust the process, right? Not what I was going to say, but sure. What I learnt is, you can wear the wig for a bit, and then you can always take it off. But at least, it gave it a fair shot. So what you say, we head over to the UK, and you finally compete in a British rules match. Prove to me, you're ready to wear the wig. I'm not saying I'll never try one, but I have some other comeback goals I'd like to focus on. So let's hold off for now. Fine. You're calling the shots. Speaking of shots, if we're not getting on a flight right away, I'm headed to the airport pub. Let me know when you've decided what's next.
Did you reconsider finally doing a British rules match? I did. And I still don't want to do it. What if we called it something else? How about a British fun match? Would I tickle your fancy? Better, but still not doing it. Did you reconsider finally doing a British rules match? I think I'm ready. Mostly because I know you'll never stop bugging me about it, so we might as well get it over with. Not quite the enthusiastic yes I was hoping for, but I'll take it. How you feeling? Do you knock off that pesky jet lag? Yeah, and I know British rules matches can be grueling, but I'm ready to give one a shot. I hope you're ready to give more than one shot.
What do you mean? This is actually a British rules tournament, as in, you'll be competing in multiple British rules matches. I agreed to do one, not an entire tournament. I know you wouldn't have come over here if you found out you had to do more than one. But here's the thing. If you don't get your act together, you'll lose in the first round, and you won't have to worry about any subsequent matches, will you? I'm already regretting this. Oi! Suck it up! You're gonna be fine. And besides, the crowd is already here. So there's no backing out now.